Well, if you still don't have a Father's Day gift, why not make Dad something from the heart? Melissa Sobas from Joanne Fabric and Craft Stores is here with some creative ideas. Welcome. Nice to have you with us. Thank you for having me today. Not too late to do these, right? Because they're all. fast. Yes. Okay, first we're going to start with a great apron idea for Dad for Father's Day. Kind of a grilling apron, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you've already started on this I one. I started on that one, yep. Yeah. Um, you'll just get some um, letters. Um, I have adhesive on them already. You'll These are iron-on letters. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. Everyone should have an iron at home. You'll cut the letters out. You will place them on the apron. You'll take a little iron. You'll just iron the front. Not everybody has a little iron like that at home. That's <laughs> amazing. <this> <laughs> yeah, that really is cute. But you, you can use a regular back. one. Yeah. So front and back. Front and back. And then once it cools, you will just pull these letters off. And Look it is all that. set to go. That's super fast and easy. I guess you want to be careful to line them up so that they're yeah. straight. Mm -hmm. So I usually just cut the bottoms of the letters so I know they're kind of lined up. And, and then we do have decorative items we can put on there as well. That's nice. That's in the fabric department. Yep. Cute. I like that. Okay, we've got some fun little coasters you can make out of the uh, lids from jars, yeah, canning jars. Yeah, we got a wide mouth uh, mason jar. Mm -hmm. And we sell, um, we have little cork squares. And all you need to do is just trace around the lid. And then you'll go ahead and just cut that out. Quickly cut that out here. That's cute. And there's quite a selection of rubber stamps yeah. in your stamping department. Yep. Um, that's a cute one, number one dad. Number one dad, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll just go ahead and put it on the ink. Okay. Right there. And just stamp it so, on. So this is great for kids. Oh, that would be fun. Look how easy that was. And we'll just put that, in, put that inside the jar there. And then Dad can put his favorite drink on there. Love it. And don't get stuff on your finger like yep. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Here's a wood etching idea. You could do this on a cedar plank or yeah. just any piece of wood if you wanted to. Yep, and this would be great for grilling. Mm -hmm. um, so you can just get any design off the internet um, that you'd like. Okay. You'll go ahead and take that design. And so you're going to print that out. Print it out. And you're going to take a, just a regular pencil. Etch, uh, just kind of scribble along the back here to get the ink on there. You'll go ahead and tape it on. This over here. Tape this on here. And you'll go ahead and just etch around the design. Once you do that, it'll show up actually on the piece of wood. Oh, no kidding. Kind of like carbon paper almost. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll take your wood etching tool. And you'll just go ahead and you'll just trace around um, the actual design. Okay, and, and then it'll come wood. out looking like yes. that. <laughs> That's really nice. And you just press on it a little harder um, to make the darker yeah, there'll colors. There'll be different tips for the tool, so I you can see. have a wider one um, okay. for bigger areas and a fine line to outline with. Cool. And because that's hot, that's something, you know, yes, if kids are working adult. with that, yeah, you need adult supervision. Okay, last thing, cute little fun mug here. Yeah, and then you'll just get some, um, just some basic letters um, from your um, sticker department. Okay. You'll actually put them on. You will paint over them. So if you take one of these little circular painters, just put the paint around, and once you peel the letters away, you'll have that white area exposed on the mug. Nice. To show Dad. And is that dishwasher safe? After 24 days of okay. carrying. <laughs> All right, so Dad better not use it quite so soon. Yeah. You can just hand wash great. in the meantime. Okay. And then one last item, we do have these cooler bags. It's special at our store right now. And all I did on this bag here to personalize it, I've um, got some little letters, and you'll just get some craft glue, and you'll just glue that on there. So you can do dad on there or put his name on there. So cute. Okay, just to clarify on this, uh, you need to wait 24 days, yes, 24 not 24 days. hours, no, but 24, 24 days, days yes. before you put that in the dishwasher, but you can hand wash it in the meantime. Yep. Okay, great ideas. Thank you so much, Thank Melissa. You. Happy crafting before mm -hmm. Father's Day. For all the instructions on how to make these gift ideas, you can go to newschannel5.com. We're going to link you to Joanne's website.